Guys, it's Walk Wednesday, it's January, and we've had loads of requests over the last year to make some of our dishes vegan or the vegan versions of it. So we've taken our classics, the most popular dishes, made the vegan versions for them, mainly for our friend Chris, one of our camera guys. And we're doing a vegan chow mein. I'm going to start with a firm tofu, firm fresh tofu here, and I'm, I want to cut this into nice, thin sort of lengths. I'm going to actually fry this so it gets nice and crispy and I'll marinate it like I would any piece of meat with a little bit of light soy, sesame oil, a bit of sugar. So nice lengths of tofu work well with your noodles. Quite often with things like cooking your noodles, people find it difficult to work out what the right type of noodles are, especially when you're looking for sort of vegan, you can't, you can't really get vegan egg noodles, but it's a, ch it's a chow mein noodle or a chop suey noodle, they call it, which is essentially like an alkali noodle. So this noodle comes from, the yellowness of the noodle comes from an alkali liquid. When, so reacting with the flour changes it to that yellow color, but also gives it more of a bite. So my strips of tofu, I'm gonna fry those. Well, why have I put it here? Let's put it in the bowl. I'm gonna marinate those and then fry them off. And just with the marinade, keep it really, really simple. A little bit of light soy, a drizzle of sesame oil, and a small pinch of sugar. And just go lightly with this. You don't want to break your tofu up too much. It should just absorb that flavor quite easily. So you can use whatever veg you want, but it's nice to have sort of harder veg like your broccoli or gailan, Chinese broccoli, um, pepper, carrots, anything like that works. I'm starting off with a little bit of finely sliced onion. You don't really need a huge amount of anything because what you don't want to do is overload your wok with too many ingredients. A little bit of red pepper. Again, finely sliced. Just setting up one ingredient after another. If you're new to the channel, you won't know this, but if you aren't, you'll know what this is called. And this is the wok clock. So 12 o'clock with my onion, and then I've got my red pepper. Sticking with the harder vegetables, your tender stem broccoli or guy lan, if you can find it. And you can see even just sort of two or three bits of each veg, that it'll fill up this plate nicely. You don't want to cut that too thin because otherwise it will overcook very quickly. My pak choy, you can just tear the leaves off and pop those on the side. And then the thicker parts of bak choy, we're gonna cut through and the small sort of heart of that bak choy, just leave as is. That'll sit nicely there. Again, not too thin on the pak choy because it cooks very, very quickly. And the whole idea of chow mein or chow mein in Cantonese, it's just fried noodles. It should be done very, very quickly and keeping all the veg nice and crunchy. So I've got my onions, peppers, broccoli, bak choy, and then I've got some spring onion. is just for garnish, but it does add flavor to the end of this as well. Just finely sliced. And that will all go in at the end. So just enough space on my wok clock here for my spring onion. That's all set and ready. My tofu's been cut. I'm gonna fry that first. My wok clock will follow. And then my noodles 
will go in last just before I throw in the sauce. These noodles, they've been soaked in hot water for about three minutes and then dried or drained, cooled under cold water and then dried on a clean tea towel. And that's what makes them nice and sort of separate, keeps them nice and long. Now your classic chow mein will have oyster sauce as a base, but I've swapped out the oyster sauce with a mushroom uh, stir fry sauce. So it's kind of like a, a very similar in flavor to oyster sauce, except it's got mushroom extract instead of oyster extract as a base. So I'm gonna use about a tablespoon of that. Similar amount of light soy and dark soy as well. And that dark soy will really sort of wrap around, the color will wrap around the noodles, which is what I want. Just to work with that dark soy, a little pinch of sugar will help to caramelize even more. And then sesame oil, we can use either in the sauce or at the end when I'm stir frying. You can see my wok's getting really nice and hot here. See Yolanda guys. <laughs> She really wants to get in. I think it's a new year. She just wants to, she wants to be part, you know, she is part of the crew, but she wants to be on camera. Say hi, Yolanda. Hello. Yolanda is the best. She is the general manager and the real boss here. Right, so, uh, what are we doing? Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, we're cooking. Okay, <laughs> vegan charming. Okay, fine. Right, so, this is really, really quick from here, guys. So, you know, this is classic Wok Wednesday. We're going back to the basics and we're gonna stir fry and flash fry everything. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my tofu because I wanna get it nice and crispy um, and, and work with that first. So we're gonna to go to medium heat and at this point, enough oil so that I can sort of fold that um, tofu around and crisp it up nicely. So I've got my tofu, just go careful with this. And of course it's got sauce in it, so it will sort of spit at you a little. Essentially, I'm kind of like shallow or deep frying this tofu to get that sort of crisp texture. And because of the sugar and the light soy in there, it should brown quite nice and quickly. But you still have to be delicate with firm tofu, so don't sort of chop into it too much. Go underneath it if you can. Fold that through whilst it's frying. After that initial sizzle, that sear, the moisture from the tofu will come out and it should spit at you a lot less. And you can see this sort of, it's still a circular movement, whichever way I'm sort of working with the wok and that's sort of going over and folding it through, over the top, underneath and folding it through. That's just to stop it from burning, even though it's on a high heat. Some people who don't, or say they don't like tofu, a lot of the time it's, not really understanding how to cook it properly and just allowing it that time to absorb that light soy and the sesame or the flavors of the marinade will make a big difference. But also understanding that you have to cook with it quite delicately, but on a high heat still is very important. Once this is crisped all the way around, your tofu is pretty much gonna go into the stir fried noodle dish at the very end because it's cooked through and I don't want it to break up too much. It's always good when you're frying something like this to have a bit of kitchen towel, or kitchen paper nearby set up and ready so you can just take that out, drain it of oil. The only veg I've left out here is some picked bean sprouts. So they'll go in just before my spring onion at the end. From here, it's really quick, guys. Remember those movements with the wok, where you're stirring, you're pushing and folding, you're sort of twisting and turning, giving it a wok toss, or, as Yolanda said, a tummy in the head. Round and round, back and forwards. Round and round with your spatula, back and forwards with your wok. High heat, most of the way, we're gonna maneuver the heat using my action, rather than the hob itself. Smoking hot. Your onions can go in first, and they won't take long because they're really nice and finely sliced. So give that a toss through, and a quick tummy in the head just to separate them out, and then back down on the heat. My next ingredient, my peppers, are going in. You should get a nice searing. You almost want a 
for the bubbling, slightly black spot effect on your skin of your pepper. And that's a good shout to the heat of the wok. You want to blister the skin a little bit. Great sound, never lose that sizzle guys. I'm gonna go in with the next hard vegetable, which is my broccoli, my tender stem broccoli there. And you can see I'm not really adding any oil at this stage, just flicking through. And every new addition to the wok will take in some of the oil from the onions or the red pepper. As I say, pak choy and your bean sprouts, they're very, very quick cook ingredients. So they don't take long at all. If you wanted to speed it up, which I have no reason as to why you would want to do that because it's so quick, you can add a little drop of water or veg stock here. Wanting to keep that crunch, we're gonna move on to our pak choy and the rest of the ingredients. There's actually quite a lot of veg in here. So what you wanna do is, if you feel like you haven't got enough space for your noodles to go in, you can bring your veg out, add your noodles in, then get your sauce and your veg back in again later on. Just let that pak choy cook through a little. So I'm gonna remove this veg just to give me that space. Nice clean wok, plenty of space now to just finish this dish off. So I've got a last drizzle of oil. Make sure it's a nice smoking hot heat. My noodles are gonna come in now. My bean sprouts can join the noodles. Give them a tummy in the head movement. That's round and round, back and forwards, and a quick flick through. Your sauce is going to come in, and that'll colour the noodles very, very quickly, along with the veg over the top. And then you want to go tummy in the head, tummy in the head, tummy in the head, flick it through a couple of times, and tummy in the head, tummy in the head, and flick it through a couple of times. And then you want to get underneath that so that the sauce doesn't burn. That high heat's really important because you want to be able to sort of get that sauce to jump into the noodles and not stick on the bottom of the wok. Again, going underneath, much like with the tofu, I feel like I need a little bit more colour on that. So I'm just going to add a drizzle of dark soy. and then flick that through. That's a nice colour now, looking like a real takeaway. Just that last tummy in the head movement before I start to bring in my tofu and my sesame oil and spring onion. So sesame oil for that toasted nutty flavour. It's all about movement this and really understanding your heat and you can see how well those noodles are kept separate. Did try to show you that, but I just kind of threw it everywhere. My tofu in, and again, delicate from this point, upside to, up, it's almost like dealing with this upside down, not chopping into it so that the noodles stay nice and long. Good long life, that's what it signifies for the new year. Couple more flicks through, and that is done. Spring onions to garnish, Chinese style. Straight out. I say this quite a lot. When you're wok cooking, especially with noodles, you know if you've got that heat sort of change correct. If you have nothing sticking at the bottom of that wok, you've got good wok hay, that high to the fire and how, understanding how to maneuver the heat around the, that sort of smoky air. Vegan chow mein. I love how the tofu has kept its shape and that is sort of just going delicately on it, on it but even on a high heat you can sort of move it around the right way. And see how long those noodles are. 
Mm. I mean, the noodles still have to have a bite. They were in the wok for a fair amount of time, but really nicely cooked and still separate. Don't miss the meat. That is absolutely delicious. Guys, if you like Chinese food, you like Asian food in general, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, tell all your friends and like all of our social media.